The Washington Examiner reports 80% of Americans want a photographer or a baker to have the right to say no to a same-sex wedding job assignment due to their religious beliefs. We're here to represent the 80%. We're here to represent the one million Americans who have signed public advocate petitions demanding their rights to one man, one woman marriage be protected. Christians and traditional moral marriage believers want their rights to religious liberty. I'm working overtime to pass the Restrain the Judges on Marriage Act, House Resolution 1968 in Congress. Thousands of Americans, millions of Americans, 80% of Americans are outraged. The Supreme Court justices, controlled by the radical homosexual lobby, have now ruled five to four that homosexuals can marry anywhere in the United States, even if their state protects real marriage. The radical lobby thinks public advocate and thousands of other pro-family activists will just give up and quit. We're here today to assert we will never stop fighting for real marriage. We will never give in. One bill, we are supporting is Representative Stephen King, Republican of Iowa, to shred the Supreme Court's power to destroy real marriage. King's Restrain the Judges on Marriage Act, House Resolution 1968, will remove marriage from federal court jurisdiction and ban any federal funding used to enforce court orders against real marriage. Public Advocate is collecting petitions today asking for passage of House Resolution 1968 to strip the court of power over traditional marriage. Public Advocate is calling on Congress to protect our religious liberty. Pro-family champion Representative Paul Labrador of Idaho recently introduced the First Amendment Defense Act, House Resolution 2802, to strengthen religious liberty. Labrador's bill prohibits the federal government from denying tax exemptions or other government benefits to individuals and institutions that defend real marriage. I'm excited to report Labrador's bill has over 120 co-sponsors in the House, and we will deliver stacks of those petitions for pro-family Americans to those 120 co-sponsoring offices. We ask Congress to pass Labrador's bill. Finally, today, public advocate condemns Judge Anthony Kennedy Ooh. and his fellow justices in their assault on logic and for ignoring all previous judicial restraint in fabricating and attempting to destroy traditional one-man, one-woman marriage in America and on the planet Earth. The Supreme Court ruling is being used in many cases not related to the so-called so same-sex marriage issue. Its overbroad ruling means polygamy, anti-Christian actions, and even worse, can now be legalized and sanctioned by the American courts.